Okay, I am going to show you how to make a looping background for frame-by-frame -frame animations in Photoshop so that you don't have to draw 800 background plates. You can just draw 5 or 10 and then loop them over and over again. So, so far we have a, we have a static layer that's just white that's serving as our background and we have a video layer that I have already drawn like a cooking show ahead of time. One, two, three, four, five frames of these watercolor clouds. And I'm going to loop that over and over again so it lasts uh, just a couple seconds. Now, first thing I need to do, since there's only five frames of actually painted pixels here, I need to trim this layer. I'm going to grab the right side of my video layer and I'm going to drag it until I can see that last frame there. And so every frame on this layer is now painted and I can duplicate it. I need to duplicate it by going over to my layers panel and I'm just going to drag it down on this new, it's new anything, but in this case it's a new layer icon. And I'm going to select both the original and the copy and I'm going to do the same thing again, thus doubling my layers and I'm going to select all four of them and I'm going to go like that. So I have eight now and one more time for a total of 16 layers. I'm going to drag those eight on top. So now I've got these plus these with six. Oops, let's try that one more time. Select the top layer, shift click on layer four. So now I have all 16 selected. I'm going to go to the flyout menu of my layers panel and I'm going to select new group from layers. I'm going to call it sky background. This folder, I'm going to put them all in. And what that does is allow me to save space in my timeline. I could leave them all expanded, but it's kind of messy to keep track of all that. Now, the one thing I do need to do is stagger these in time, because right now they're all on top of one another. So let's just flip open in the timeline our layers group and just go in. Oops. Make sure they're laid out end to end like this. And we should get, I don't know, three or four or five seconds worth of looping backgrounds this way. It's kind of a manual way to do it, but Photoshop is still limited in its animation capabilities. Unfortunately, we can't lay these on the same layer end to end. We have to have separate layers, but sometimes that can be a help. Let's scroll down a little bit. And how many do we have left? Oh, that was the last one. Oh, no, we got three left. I'll select all of these and move them all down and then scroll down a little bit like that. Deselect, select that one, and select that one. Okay, that is all of our layers. And we have six seconds and eight frames worth of looping backgrounds. And since we've made five frames, the more frames you make, the less obvious it is that it is a looping background. But that is one way to get a, either a looping background or a looping recurring object in your frame-by-frame -frame animations in Photoshop. Thanks. We will talk to you later.